Grand rising beautiful humans and welcome to Rising Minds where our intention is clear and is to share information for transformation. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being here. For those that are watching on, on YouTube, I appreciate your time and I appreciate you being here. So I like to get straight to it as always. And I want to get into a, a moment that really shook me. <clears throat> um, so for some of you that have been following me sometimes, I'm right now based in Thailand. I've been here for the last couple of weeks, I would say five weeks, four weeks already, five weeks already, or th no, six weeks actually, and I'm doing an, probably another two, three weeks, two weeks, and I've been enjoying uh, traveling while exploring as well as working, but I had a very, very rough start when I, when, I, when I got to Thailand. I literally, day two, got caught with a, I, I believe it was COVID because it was something that is really, really hard on the chest, and I had a 10-day uh, four days fever and almost took me 10 days to recover. So, but it's so good. It's just a reminder that our health is super, super important. It's the number one thing that we all should be focusing on as a primary, more important than anything else. Because if you don't have your health, you don't have energy. And if you don't have energy, you don't have energy to create. So always prioritize your health. Make sure your health, meaning your physical well being, of course, and your mental well being are always at the forefront of everything you do in your life. All right, guys, so what shook me, what I wanted to share with you guys is this uh, moment in time as part of my travel, I like exploring. Um, and there was an opportunity to do a ceremony in the desert, uh, in the desert, in the jungle. I'm talking the desert now, I'm thinking about Dubai. No, it was in the jungle here in Thailand. And it was really interesting because we were sitting around and part of the ceremony uh, involves doing about 60 minutes of, of uh, holotropic breathing or fat. It's a type of breath that moves energy, but raises your frequency. It raises your, your body's energy. And uh, so there was me lying down, you know, ready for this uh, experience. And I'm into breath. For those of you who've been following me, I'm a breath, as you know, I'm a breath uh, practitioner, uh, instructor for SOMA, SOMA breath practices. And I've just always found the, the power of breath to always elevate my energy, always support me in uh, uh, focus, in, uh, in changing my state of being. I always say that if there's one tool out there in this world as a skill set that would in, uh, advance you in life and, and manage your emotional states, it's breath. So I'm always looking to explore new types of breath practices, especially when I travel. Uh, I like to get exposed to other practitioners and what they do. Uh, so long story short, <laughs> I was uh, lying down and um, all of a sudden, you know, 30 minutes in doing the breath, I felt this rush of energy that was almost coming from the pit of my stomach and all the way up to my throat. And then all of a sudden, it was like a very, uh, a, an emotion, and it was a, pain, a painful emotion, meaning emotional pain, like a sense of pain. And I was very surprised by it because there's nothing in my conscious reality in my life that is bringing me any form of pain, meaning emotional pain. And um, so as that was happening, um, it was a vulnerable moment, but I had to sort of cry, I had to let it out because it was like sort of, it was, it's like almost like someone gave you this, this sad news, this painful news, and you start crying. So it was out of my control. I couldn't suppress it. I just was like, because the breath moves energy. That's what the breath does. So there is me breathing, and then it started moving up, and then I started crying, and I started um, feeling this uh, sensation of pain. And I asked myself, where is this pain coming from? And this is why I want to share the story with you guys, because I feel it's a great reminder for myself and, of course, for you guys. Um, a lot of our emotions are always stored in the body, and we forget uh, what might have hurt us in the past that maybe, you know, we, we're trying to distract, uh, and it can move up, and it can just move through our body. So, so there is me lying down, and then all of a sudden, this breath this, uh, um, you know, this breath that I'm constant on is moving the sense of energy. And then I started crying. And I asked myself the question, where's this coming from? Where's this coming from? And all of a sudden, I started getting these images in my mind. So emotion is energy and motion. And in, a, a, a emotion stores information, it's data, right? So that's part of 
what emotions are. It's it's a it's the boundaries of our beliefs, behaviors. It's the boundaries of uh, it's the communication of the body. So the emotions is communicating th things to us. So by tuning into that emotion, I started getting these images, and what I was coming up for me. Um, was something that I've been trying my best over the last few months in all transparency to avoid because I found that it has brought my energy down. So being self-aware of what brings your energy down is super important. And I was becoming aware that exposing myself, talking about it, exposing myself to it, viewing it, whatever, whatever that, that uh, you know, the, the exposure I was getting from the genocide that is happening in, in Palestine, and um, maybe I get exposed to it more because I, I live in that region in Dubai, and there are, you know, of course, a lot of censorship around the world, and we get to see some content that is not necessarily available perhaps in other parts of the world. And um, so you see these images, these pictures, they're very painful, they're very, dis the, the, you know, the stressing, stress, stressing uh, uh, images of the suffering of people that's that's bottom line is suffering of people so people are suffering and people are dying and be, so so even though i was pushing myself with the intention to raise my energy of not looking at that content because it was bringing me down i was aware of it at the time so i just i stopped doing it i stopped exposing myself to that to that data that information and um, and maybe parts of me thinks it might be selfish but I look at the bigger picture and I think if my energy is not right, then I can't serve myself and I can't serve the world. And I rather, you know, have higher frequency of energy that enables me to serve and to, to share, you know, and do the things that I'm do that I do on a day to day basis. Otherwise, if I start feeling in pain and in suffering and hopeless, these are emotions that are and, 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 and states of being that are very that are very um, they, they, they debilitate you. They, they don't allow you to to focus on what you want to create for yourself or your family or the people in your community or, or the world, whatever that is, whatever your mission is, right? So it was a, a, a really shock to my system because I wasn't expecting it. That's why it was a shock. I wasn't expecting it. I wasn't expecting to get this rush of energy with lots of pain. And I mean a lot of pain. It wasn't even my pain. It was the pain of others that I was exposed to. And this is an important point because our mind doesn't know the difference between what's real or not. And I'm talking about the unconscious mind. So when I expose myself to information and data, if I'm not filtering this data, my mind is it's perceiving it as if it's happening to me. That's why when we watch a movie and we are engaged in that movie, we're taking in data, information. Our unconscious mind doesn't know the difference what's real. That's why we have the shock the, the excitement, the, sa the sadness, we, 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 we are, we are in co completely in that, in that world as we observe it, right? So it was a, a strong reminder, although I, do the, I, I, I know this, but it was a good reminder for me that A, the breath as a practice can move energy in the body, which I already know, but it's a good reminder that even if you're, you know, feel that there's nothing in your system every now and then to do a nice long breath practice and that's an hour i did an hour of of a form of breath that was consistent there was no breaks it's like and you bring it in through the belly up through the chest so you're moving this energy and you're raising your body's frequency and you feel it you feel electric which is very powerful so highly encourage you to explore of course if you're new into, into breathwork, make sure you are following some uh, practitioners or people that know what they're preaching when it comes to breath because you also don't want to breathe incorrectly. Um, so the moral of this story and what I'm looking to share with you guys is that our unconscious mind stores information, data, and it stores your emotions in your body. And the emotions that if we don't process those emotions with time, if we are good at distracting it and suppressing it, and this is why I do these practices because I'm not always aware of what's in my, 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 my depth of my unconscious mind, right? We don't know, that's why we call it unconscious. It's out of our awareness. So practices like this helps bring up to the surface what may be something you have been suppressing or distracting yourself from looking that way. And this is super important. So 
coming back to what I was saying with regards to understanding the body and understanding that the body stores our emotions, um, it's super, super important to find tools. And this is why I'm a big advocate for one of the therapies that I, that I practice at my coaching practice and at the academy or, or is, is, is understanding gestalt therapy, understanding timeline, understanding that there are information, data, events that are all stored in our body with the meaning we gave those experiences and how they made us feel, how they made us feel. So, and a lot of the times we think we remember, you know, fearful events, but the fearful events we remember are very much, very, they're, just, they're like a minute uh, representation of all the fear you have in your life, as an example. You know, this is just one of them. There are five, really. It's fear, anger, sadness, emotional pain and hurt, guilt, shame. These emotions, the, they get stored. And over time, if we're, not, if we're not processing it, if we're not dealing with those emotions, if we're not um, really understanding that we need to process it, because what, what happens if we don't is that, A, we get surprises, like I had, which was a shock. B, we also become influenced by those emotions in our body. So if I'm always storing information and emotions from the past that is fearful, then, I, then, I, then it starts to influence how I think in my life because we can, even though it's subconscious, those emotions, but they have an influence on our thought process of how the quality of our thinking. So that's why you'll find a person that when he thinks about his future, he, 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 it's an anxious future. It's, a, it's one of anxiety or fear, or, but, but that's not because he's choosing to do that. It's because there's some form of influence in his conditioning in the body from based on past experiences that is saying to him, there's a threat in the future and you've got to be careful and there's fear. And that's, that's the influence that starts to have a role in our lives with making decisions, with behaviors, right? So a lot of the times we make decisions based on our emotional state, or based on our thought process, which is influenced by our emotions as well. So understanding the fundamentals of the body being the hard drive of all our emotions, and also being aware that you, you have to practice, or you have to develop skills or learn or do the work in making sure that there is nothing in your nervous system, your body that is influencing you today, that's influencing the course of your life, that's influencing your decisions, that's influencing your, um, your thought process, the quality of your thinking, right? So the quality of your thinking is dictated by their emotional state, right? Um, and, you know, we say this a lot in, in the academy, and I say this a lot in my practice, and I always remind people of this, because if you get it, get it, get it, and I know you're you are getting it and thank you for listening to this t so far to this to this far to f this far in the, in the podcast but here's the golden nugget you will never think greater than you feel you'll never think greater than you feel and when we understand that fundamentally speaking when we understand that then we start to go okay great so i don't want to be influenced by remote my, my my emotions and i also don't want to be triggered <clears throat> those triggers that happen sometimes in our day-to-day -day life in our in what we do in the experiences we have is a a, a, a built-up charge in our body that is ready to blow right so anything will make us frustrated anything will worry us anything will make us angry anything will allow us to to move out of balance and not to remain grounded not to remain focused not to and so 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 understanding that the more we control and manage our emotional state and understand how our neurology works and understands the body that is going to give us the edge in in in, in everything we do in life whether you're a trader that's listening to this or you're, uh, uh, you know, someone that is whatever background or career or wherever status you're in in your, in your journey, on your timeline, this practice is, serves everyone. And the practices, breath practices, the practices doing the inner work and going inwards and understanding, okay, what's, what parts of me that I have suppressed, what parts of me are my shadow self that I'm not facing, but I know it influences my decisions in my life. I know that it's pushing me in different directions that I'm not supposed to be doing. So here's my reminder, guys. Uh, thank you for taking the time to 
receive this information, and I trust it will um, unlock something within your mind, perhaps be a, 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 a gentle reminder to, uh, to always pay attention to your emotions, pay attention to how you feel, because those are your, you know, they are the signs, they are the, 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 the guide of letting us know where we're at and the feedback that we're getting based on our thought process. So thank you guys for taking the time. Much love and positive energy.